real success is having peace within yourself, is nurturing and fostering fulfilling relationships. Real success as a parent is having kids that actually want to call you and be with you as after their adulthood. Buenos dias, welcome or welcome back to The Beast Den. My name is Lynn The Beast and I am a chaos coach for women that are in the thick of navigating motherhood and business. We are doing another week in the life. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, today is like what people think of when they think of Florida. It's windy, it's sunny, it's so beautiful. And so I'm excited to take you guys with me. We're gonna get some coffee and just kind of have a low key day. I also have to study for my life coaching exam that happens on Wednesday. So we're gonna be getting some work done and yeah, it should be fun. Let's go. Why did you get two? Two boxes? Two boxes? You OD. Uh, I'm surprised that you that you got two. <gasps> no. Bando donado. We have best taste. Have coffee. Oh. Yeah, we have coffee. Nine. So how you fell on me? Pretty good. It is raining, so we are not going to be going to a farmer's market or anything like that, but we did stop at a food truck and we're gonna try it out. You guys know we're foodies, so let's see. Buenos dias. I was honestly not gonna vlog, but I don't think it's fair for you to see the pretty and not the ugly. I'm actually not in the best mood today. Today is my daughter's vending event, so I'm kind of rushing. I did my makeup nice and early this morning, as you saw. I tried the falsies, like the individual falsies this morning. I think this one over here, though, is needs a retouch, so I'm gonna do that, okay, we'll get, get changed, and then I'll take you guys along for this event. at least half of my modules so hopefully I can get through all of the modules for tonight while they do their thing and yeah we should have a good time I hope that you guys enjoy this and I'll see you when we're back at the house. Yesterday we got in late from the market. Today is going to consist of, I think I'm gonna do like a slower morning, just cause I woke up really hungry today. Yeah, there's a towel right here. I have the retreat sweater, second prototype going to be delivered to me today as well. So Denise is gonna come and drop it off at my house. I have studying to do. I'm getting my life coaching certification on Wednesday. I gotta take the test. So I'm going to study today, prep some emails for the upcoming content and co-working session that I'm hosting again. And a couple of other things that I want to do. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna get done because I also have a call tonight at 8.30. So it's gonna be a pretty busy day. Pretty productive, pretty busy. I would say typical work from home day, honestly. I'm just doing my morning routine. I've really been enjoying these, this Korean skincare. I do like how lightweight the products are, how lightweight they feel. And they were super affordable at 
Marshalls as well. I was surprised when I went this past time and they had the cleanser to this line that I showed you guys in my last vlog. Let's get breakfast started. I'm thinking I'm gonna do something with apples because our apples are going bad. They're green apples, they're going bad. lunch got through this module i'm tired y'all i'm tired so let's go make some lunch all right come a little closer lunch is done i just made cheese empanadas one thing that i've been working on especially lately maybe you can relate is creating better boundaries with my work hours i'm a life coach i support women that are moms but also entrepreneurs so i help you create work-life balance as defined by you i help you create systems and routines and boundaries and so Part of my coaching process is being introspective enough to self-coach, uh, being introspective enough to identify when my systems need retweaking -tweak because I believe that you need to be your own testimonial, right? As this year has consisted of a lot of travel, as my business has continued to grow, I've had to take a step back and look at some of my boundaries. A lot of the communications that I've been sending have been like really late at night, like one, two o'clock in the morning. Because the women that I support are highly successful, very busy mom entrepreneurs, I have to be on top of them. Unlike where most coaches are not coaches that like micromanage women like you tend to have so many things thrown at them that you kind of just handle whatever is thrown at you first for example it's three o'clock in the afternoon right now and i'm just now getting started on my last module on the last of my studying because my sister's dog got out so i had to go handle that we had to clean the house or i chose to clean the house because i can't operate in a messy house things started coming up that i was like well i'm already here here, let me just handle it. My clients are very similar in that aspect of, well, I'm already in front of this, let me just fix it. And what that tends to do is your tasks in the coaching goals that we set up tend to get pushed back. And so I have to have high accountability, high communication with my clients to make sure that they're staying on track. A lot of them are in the middle of launches. A lot of them are in the middle of preparing for the holidays right now. So making sure that we're establishing those strong boundaries, having those conversations now, making sure that we're delegating certain roles now, really setting that right expectation now as we're in October, November. So it's required for me to take a step back and be like, okay, as a coach, what are the things that I need to change to make sure that I'm not burning out, to make sure that I am still enjoying this process as much as possible, but also to make sure that I'm showing up to the best capability as their coach. Because if I'm exhausted, if I'm burned out, if I'm stressed, if I'm triggered, that is all going to affect my client and that's not conducive. And I've been on the other side of that as someone being coached by someone in that space and I would never want that experience for my clients. And so that's why part of my process as a coach is to take a step back every so often um, and aside from my daily practices, but every so often and identify, okay, what are the systems that need to shift? What are the boundaries that I need to set? And one of those really is um, working, re working really late at night. 
regardless of what you work in, it's always important for you to be introspective enough to identify, okay, what are the things that need to shift within yourself? As an ambitious woman, you need to understand that it means nothing for you to achieve monetary success if your home life is in shambles. It means absolutely nothing. You need to be able to maintain both elements simultaneously because real success is having peace within yourself, is nurturing and fostering fulfilling relationships. Real success as a parent is having kids that actually want to call you and be with you as after their adulthood. Kids that are not resentful of the fact that you chose to be an entrepreneur instead of a stay-at-home mom. I go deeper into that in my email newsletter. You get to see obviously a real way of how I do this, of how I live out what it is that I teach my students um, through my weekly vlogs, but also you can do that through my newsletter. Every single week I share with you resources and tips. I share with you insights on exactly how to redefine your work-life balance and some of those systems and routines that will enable you to do that. I also do have upcoming openings for coaching if that is something that you know you need. If you're like, I'm not getting the support from my husband that I wish I had. I'm not communicating with my kids in the way that I wish I was. I'm lashing out. I don't know how to regulate my emotions. I am irritable all of the time. I'm burnt out all of the time. I need an identity outside of being mom. I understand. And I do have openings for that coming up where you will be absolutely blown away at how easy this gets to be once you have the right systems and the right foundations in place. So I will leave the link to join the waitlist down below for my upcoming one-on-one -on -one sessions. And yeah, let's get back to work.